Sony is currently being sued for $7.9 billion. If you live in the UK and you owned a PlayStation between 2016 and 2022, you could potentially receive up to £600 in compensation. To find out how, stay to the end of this video. Consumer champion Alex Neal has launched a $7.9 billion lawsuit against Sony, with the claims that Sony have overcharged UK customers for games and in-game purchases over the six-year period. If successful, UK PlayStation owners could be in for a payout between £67 and £562. Alex Neal explains via the website PlayStation You Owe Us, which is linked below, Essentially, since at least 19th of August 2016, we believe that Sony has been exploiting its UK customers. They have been charging them too much for PlayStation digital games and in-game content via its control over the entire PlayStation ecosystem. Alex also adds that while companies making a profit isn't wrong, unlawful behaviour at the expense of their customers is. The claim also states that Sony's near monopoly on the sale of digital games and add-on content through its control of the PlayStation Store, which enforces strict terms and conditions, and as a result, set excessive and unfair prices to consumers, which Miss Neal believes is a breach of competition law. So how would you get in on this and hopefully get some of that sweet PlayStation money? If you owned a PlayStation console between August 19th, 2016 and August 19th, 2022 and purchased digital game or made an in-game purchase, you are entitled to be a part of the claim against Sony and you could receive anywhere between £67 and £562. The good news is you don't really have to do anything to claim the money back. If you qualify, you will automatically be included in the claim and receive the appropriate compensation. If you don't want to be a part of the claim, you can opt out via the PlayStation You Owe Us website. I have put the link below, which will allow you to sign up with your name and email, and also your telephone number if you want to, but that is an option. But please make sure it's the email address that you use for the PlayStation account, so it can all be linked. For information on when this can happen though, Alex Neal has said that her and her lawyers are pushing Sony to settle as soon as possible, but also advise it could be several years before we can secure compensation for consumers. For years, myself and many others have always expressed how expensive Sony are for having charged the higher price for digital games compared to how much you can buy them physically. However, if you do only have the digital console, you are going to be paying anywhere from £10 to £40 more via the PS Store for a game. At this moment in time, you can actually buy EA Sports FC24 for $69.99 digitally, or if you have a physical console, you can buy it on sale from Amazon for $29.99. Amazon have had this price for the past two months as well. It does suck how much Sony charge for digital games compared to physical. So this lawsuit may be a good thing going forward for the digital gaming era.